What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. So just a short video today, we're going to be talking about impact players. Now I'm going to be doing a lot of videos like this, uh, where we look at different players and different things that you can do on the pitch. So we're going to take a look at Inzaghi. Obviously he has the big time epic card. Um, that is a fantastic player. A lot of people sleeping on these type of cards, right? Even with the high ratings that they get, he starts off at an 84 overall center forward. He is down as a goal poacher. We'll get a look at his card in a second. But what people don't really realize is that just because you start a match with a starting 11 and you have your main guys up front, this is a lot of people are missing out on this, right? Impact players. Now, we're going to activate Inzaghi as a super sub here. It's the 57th minute. Yes, we're up 1-0. That's really irrelevant, right? But what is a super sub? So I'm going to be doing another video on this where we show you different examples. But this is basically how the game defines super sub, okay? So it improves players' abilities when introduced in the second half of the game. There is no visual um, indicator, Stats do not get a visual boost. There is nothing on the screen or in the menus that show you exactly what it boosts, right? But this follows back into how I would use Inzaghi as a 95, 96 rated center forward. He's going to be an impact player, right? So who falls into this category of impact players? Well, I would say that they fall into, you know, a sole purpose player that you overkill the stats when you're training them up. They're adaptable. So say you're playing a 4-4-2 then you can switch to, you know, a long ball with two, you know, strong players up front. Usually super subs are game changers as well, right? So if we take a look here, I'm not even going to focus too much on gameplay, right? But if we take a look at Inzaghi here, right? We are going to build a card that has got one purpose. And that purpose is for acceleration, offensive awareness, and for using his super sub. We're not going to be starting him in games, okay? So people will say, oh, he's 97 acceleration. He's as good as Romario. No, because his dribbling and his balance are not at that level. Plus, he isn't that type of player. He does feel a little bit clunkier compared to the likes of Romario and Mbappe, Son, any of those guys, they're just kind of built different with the way that they are actually um, used on the pitch, right? And in their position, their traits, their attributes, everything is controlled by that. And another key thing that people don't realize as well is, p is players have different motions uh, with their height and their weight and the player skills that they have. So before in older PES games, uh, as you look at the build here, it was kind of defined by the player ID. And that's kind of changed now. As I said, I will be doing a video on this I see a lot of people talking about it and not really understanding it, so I will try and kind of break it down as best as possible, but just taking a look at Inzaghi here, right, the thing I want with Inzaghi is not his acceleration or his balance, but it's his offensive awareness, and for bringing him on directly if I'm losing a game or if I'm, you know, 2-1 up and I'm under pressure, right, I always have a double kind of plan, right? I have plan A, plan B, and then maybe plan C. So you could start off your game with Romario and Mbappe up front. And if you go 3-0 up and you're smashing somebody, brilliant. You don't need to change anything. But if you're struggling, if you're down 2-1 with 20, 30, 40 minutes to go, then you start to bring on your plan B, you know, with your sub tactics and your impact players, right? Because Inzaghi, when he gets one-on-one, -on -one, he's kind of like Cristiano Ronaldo, that he can still do all these tricks, even though he doesn't have double touch and all that. You can still score one-on-ones very, very easily with a player of this quality because of his stats and because of his player skills. But what you're going to be using him for is not to start, but it's also to bring him on if you need to, right? Or to bring him on primarily if you need him, right? So I'm going to be doing a few more videos on this, but get your questions in below and anything that you want covered, I will cover. But that is it for Inzaghi. I think he's a fantastic option off the bench. Probably one of the best impact players in the game. I would say him, Collar, Cristiano Ronaldo. They're not the meta, but they can be the meta impact players. That is how I would class them. So let me know what you guys think. It's something a little different and... Yeah, maybe you'll be interested in it. So I'm trying to do a bit more content to kind of break things down and uh, give you the edge. So let me know what you think and I'll talk to you in a bit.